Well, everyone, I'm here at Moore's Minnetonka Mazda. I was going to do a 2004 Nissan 350Z, but as I got here, they sold it. So, anyways, I do have a special car indeed. So, um, today, I'm going to review the 2016 Land Rover LR4. So, this, this is actually one of my dad's favorite cars. Um, without further ado, this is a key fob. Just unlock it. Show you the exterior. So guys, I'm not gonna get different angles like my older view, but um, I think I think people like it better, and I personally like it better if I just give you like shots of it. Oh, there's a side. Pretty nice section. This is tall in the back. I'll tell you that. I love the back lights. There's the other side. Do have folding mirrors manually. So, just go ahead, hop in the interior. Here's a feature there, you can press that button. Oh, the mirrors fold out. So, here's the interior, pretty luxurious. Here's your automatic seats for the driver. So much room in here. Um, just hop in real quick. So, all you have to do is put your foot on the brake. There's a start button. So, has a top speed of 130 miles per hour, a little more, I think. Um, I don't know if the horn works. I'll turn down the air vents. Um, so, here's your steering wheel there. These are shifters, paddle shifters. Um, this is your heated steering wheel button right there. Um, here's your phone and stuff. Oh, that's a horn. That's cool. All right, um, there's your, you have a digital gauge in the middle. Um, so, I'll just show you the doors. I like this handle here. Lock and unlock, nice wooden texture. Um, so of course, um, all four windows are automatic. Oops, whatever. All right, um, here's your mirror. Door lock, or window lock, I should say. Um, so let's just check out the turn signals really quick. Let's turn on the headlights. This is how you adjust them. I have to show you, you got a nice running board. Um, turn off the. All right. Um, check out the glove box right here. Glove cubby. Um, you got a tray here. Pretty deep. Here's your adjust manually adjustable armrests, cup holders, parking. Here's your um, automatic transmission here. I'm not going to touch that. Um, here's your. I think these are your driving modes. We got our ashtray there. Um, I'm not going to touch that either. But we do got a. I think that's an ashtray or maybe a little storage compartment. Um, these climate um, climate settings are pretty unique. Here's a fan. Here's your temperature. I like the quality of these buttons. This is your mode. Heated seats. Here's your hazard button. We do got a nice clock there. Pretty cool. Um, radio. Oh, this is touch screen. It's cool.
try oh Here, I'll show you the quality of the navigation not the best but pretty cool a bit better than Nissan's um these are air vents right there too um pretty cool actually um oh this heating steering wheel is cool this is the biggest steering wheel I've seen actually um you got your sun visors map lighting um you got your shade here it's spring loaded I think um this is to bring it up and you can also bring it back you do got a little wind deflector up there I, I should close it snow's getting in I'll just bring a bit this back how it was. Actually, whatever. All right, here's your mirror. This is your garage home look buttons right there. Um, see how it sounds when you rev the engine? Pretty nice, let's enter the passenger now. Guys, let's go around the back. So, here's the passenger side. Let's just sit down really quick. I forgot to show you, you do got automatic seats down here too. Um, pretty nice. Here's your window, passenger window. This is really popular in Land Rovers. You do got two glove cubbies. This one has USB, so I'm guessing you would keep your phone or electronic or valuables in there. Here's your main glove box. This is a really nice car. I would even get this. This is your gas cap. I got to center the back seats. Oops. Whatever. Alright, here's the back seats. Nice and leathery. I'm going to try my best not to get this car dirty. These seats are fairly comfortable. I'm not going to roll down this window because I don't want to screw up that thing. I even got climate um, settings right here. Temperature, mode, and fan. Um, some map lighting. You do got a shade for, you got three skylight, um, skylights up here. So here's your, um, middle row one, um, air vent, air vent, um, and here's your air vents down here. Butt warmers up in a little coin compartment there. Here's your fan controls, um, and there's even a third row for this. Um, car. As I, I didn't know there was a third row in this, so let's just um, bring these seats back and I'll climb into the third row. Guys, it took me a while, but I climbed back to the third row. There's two seats back here. Um, each one could fold down if you want. And of course, these could fold down to give you more trunk room. I'll try to show you that later. We got a little box there, cup holder. Here's some air vents, and we even got its own skylight up here. Map lighting. Um, but yeah, now I have to um, feel the pain of crawling back out. Alright guys, the trunk's pretty cool actually. Like the Honda Element, it opens up like that. Fair amount of trunk space. I um, wonder how these seats would fold. Um, pretty nice actually. And you could also bring this down give you a full view or full access to the trunk space well guys this was an awesome review of the 2016 Land Rover LR4 um, this is a great um, mid-size SUV anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video sorry I didn't get to review the 350z I'm kind of disappointed that they sold it but whatever anyways guys this is most likely my final review of the year. Maybe I'll do some reviews like during the winter, maybe like some Kias or something. But um, anyways, guys, 